Welcome to Finances Do Matter. My name is Richard and today we're looking at whether buying portable solar power generators actually saves you money. Let's take a look. Yes, one of the main aims of this channel is to provide you with tips and ideas on how to save money. And I've seen throughout YouTube, throughout the internet, articles, adverts in newspapers, buy this portable solar panel generator, powered generator or battery, and you can run off your devices from the sun look out there there's no sun today and it will save you money well it is true but the problem is you may have to wait a very long time to do so now why do I say that well over the past three years I have purchased six yes six different brands of portable power generators to run off two very large solar panels that I have, which between them give me approximately 600 watts of solar power. That's providing I've got full sun shining on them for a considerable period of time with no clouds passing by. Uh, the reality is living in Britain that really happens but in the summer it, it you get a reasonable amount of power on average 300 watts roughly sometimes 400 if I'm lucky but it's not on the roof I'd get a little more I think if it was higher up but notwithstanding that the issue is is it worth buying these portables to save money and when I say portables I'm holding up a relatively small one the one I'm actually using to run my computer and my lights and my fan my desk fan is about three or four times the size of this and the weight and this is actually quite heavy with a whirring noise in the background so out of all the six of which four different brands are large ones there's always a whirring sound so, putting up with that, let's have a look at the maths to see whether it really is worth buying these to save money. Okay, so let's take a look at this brand, which is offering quite a discount on its solar power generator. It's the Blue Etty Portable Power Station. It's got a good name, four and a half stars or 4.3 with a 1,040 rating, and they've slashed the price to £1,099. Let's call it, for the sake of argument, £1,100. It was £1,400. Now, it's got 2,000 watt-hours of life. It's a LIFO 4 battery. And if we go down to the description at the bottom, we can see that it has 3,500 plus life cycles. Now, what that generally means is three and a half thousand life cycles until the battery capacity reduces from 100% to 80%, and then who knows how many life cycles thereafter before it goes to 50 and then 20, and eventually the battery runs down. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume that three and a half thousand life cycles is the limit and it's a 2000 watt hour battery so let's type this in 2000 watt hours is the equivalent of two kilo watt hours we have 3500 life cycles so we are essentially getting 3500 times two equals 7,000 kilowatt hours of power. Now, if we take that 7,000 and divide the cost of the 
power generator. Buy it. So we have one thousand one hundred pounds divided by seven thousand. This comes out just under sixteen pence per kilowatt hour. Now my current rate of electricity charge is twenty seven pence per kilowatt hour. It's recently gone down from thirty three. So the difference between twenty seven and sixteen is eleven pence. I'm saving eleven pence per kilowatt hour. The solar panels that I have, which amount to about 600 watts, will charge this machine, because obviously you don't get sun all day, will charge this machine once per day, which effectively means I am saving 11 pence times 2, which is the number of kilowatt hours, so I'm saving 22 pence per day. That's my saving. I've already said the machine costs eleven hundred pounds and I save twenty two pence per day. So I divide eleven hundred by twenty two and that equals five thousand days or thirteen point seven years. So it basically means I'm going to take thirteen point seven years to get the payback on my battery. Admittedly, if prices go up and considerably, that time period comes down. But frankly, would you want to fork out £1,100 for a payback period of 13 years of every day connecting your solar panel to a battery that was in the background making a slight noise? It does give off a fair amount of heat, however, so it might warm your room a little. That's another matter. Okay, so 13 years you have to wait. And assume for a moment I'm being unfair because I have limited that particular battery to three and a half thousand life cycles. The text does say, it does say that uh, that only depreciates the battery down to 80%, which then means when you charge it, the most you can get then is 80% of it. So you've got diminishing returns. But seriously though, are you going to plug your battery in every day for 13 years and really think you're going to be doing that in 13 years time? No, because battery technology improves year on year on year. Take this small one. I bought this in a sale a year ago for £190. They were retailing at 230 You can now pick it up for 160 One of the large ones that I have cost £2,000. You can now pick up the same one for 1600 So we're already saving 20% on a year ago. In 10 years time, this will be the size of the battery that will run your home, most likely. And it will cost a lot less than even the battery that I've purchased to give me two kilowatt hours of power. However, am I saying they're not useful? Am I saying don't go out and buy any of them? No, I'm not saying that because if you have a power cut and you have these batteries, they will be great to give you some backup power. If you like going camping or away on a beach and you need some power, then once again you can put these in the back of your car or vehicle and off you go. So I'm not saying there's no use for these. What I am saying though is that in reality these are not good money savers. So when they say you've got solar power, free electricity, it is free. But it'll take you 13 years to get your money back on a two kilowatt hour battery. If, however, you need the portability. If, however, 
you need the emergency backup, which was the key reason I bought mine. But I'm testing that now because I'm thinking we hardly ever get a power cut in the UK. Slightly different, I know, in many states in the US. So I might as well use them since I've paid for them. But they're not great money savers. Not at current technology. However, if you wish to buy one, I've put a link below. Um, it's an Amazon link and I will receive an affiliate commission should you purchase it. But I'm saying to you, by all means, purchase it as a backup. Purchase it perhaps as a portable power source. But do not buy it if you think you're going to save money. You won't yet. It might be different in a few years' time. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, press the bell sign. Lots more videos coming out this week. I'm sorry it's dark in this room. I haven't set this up as a studio because it is really one, one of the rooms that I'm using currently while we're still, still undergoing redecoration. Eventually, I'll have my mini studio set up. Look forward to that day. See you soon.